CTV Scott Hurst has more for us this morning. Scott, it's the first full mm -hmm. day of deliberations for this jury. What can we expect? Good morning, Marcia. The jury is just beginning their deliberations this morning. They're set to return at 9 o'clock, so they're just getting started, as you mentioned, for the first full day of deliberations. They had a few hours late last night after three hours of instructions from the justice. And as you mentioned, this comes after two months of testimony and evidence. The trial began back in September, so we'll have to wait and see throughout the day today if the jury can come to a conclusion on the four counts of first degree murder and one count of attempted murder, but months of testimony and evidence to go through in the trial of Nathaniel Veltman. In closing arguments, Crown alleges Veltman spent months planning a brutal attack against Muslims and that these are first degree murders because they were part of a terrorist attack. However, in its closing arguments, the defense countered by saying the Crown failed to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the attack was planned and deliberate and failed to prove that Veltman intended to kill the Afzal family. They were struck in June 2021, run over by a pickup truck in London. Four members of the family killed a lone survivor, a nine-year-old son. Veltman was arrested minutes later in a shopping mall parking lot. Marcia, he has pleaded not guilty to these charges. Right, and what makes this case so new unique are those terrorism, mm -hmm. uh, the terrorism charge. So what sort of sentence could Veltman face if he is found guilty? And Marcia, specifically with the first degree murder charge, that carries an automatic life sentence with no chance of parole for 25 years. That is a deliberate killing that is planned and intentional. That is the bar that the uh, Crown needs to prove beyond a reasonable doubt. Now, in this case, the justice in her hours of instructions to the jury said, leave the emotion out of it. Of course, when this all happened, this uh, there was an outpouring of emotion, not just in London and, and with the Muslim community in that area, but also from coast to coast. It sparked a lot of emotion. So the justice instructing the jury, leave the emotion out of it, judge it on the evidence and logic and the justice going on to say Veltman is on trial for his actions, not for his beliefs. So Marcia, the uh, jury got back at it at nine o'clock this morning. They're just beginning their first full day of deliberations. We'll be keeping a close eye on the Windsor Courthouse to see if there are any updates in this case, any questions that they might have or any verdict that they might have. Scott, thank you.